Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. In this video, I will try to show you uh, how to prepare um, our uh, database to explore performance tuning in detail. So this is uh, required for uh, everyone who is interested in exploring performance tuning, uh, whether you are a developer or a tester or administrator, it doesn't matter. It will give you just a brief introduction about um, um, uh, how to create necessary schemas, table, etc. Uh, I will try to demonstrate using uh, our deck of cards data set. So deck of cards data set represents our playing uh, uh, deck with 52 cards in that. And we will try to use that data set to explore performance tuning in detail. So let's go ahead and start, um, uh, start it. So if you are a, a um, SysDBA in Oracle, which is uh, who have a complete authority on the database. You can log in as Sys or System and to do this. If you are a developer or a tester, you might have to ask your counterpart uh, DBA to create a schema for you. So first, let us uh, create a schema, and uh, then uh, 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 creating schema is more relevant for DBAs than developers or testers in a true enterprise environment. So we'll be creating uh, a schema called uh, uh, P-Tuning, which stands for Performance Tuning. So create schema, sorry, create user, perform, sorry, P-Tuning, identified by P-Tuning. So P-Tuning will be the password. So I'm assuming whoever is running uh, and these commands are sysdbs only dbs can execute um, below commands to create users okay so once the user is created we have to grant some privileges um, the uh, two most important uh, privileges are create session uh, so grant create session to p tuning okay and um, also you need to have means if you want to create table you have to create uh, you have to um, have create table uh, permission uh, and also many other permissions are required over time so for that reason i am just granting dba to p tuning if you are a developer or tester in the organization uh, your dba might not uh, grant dba access to you but uh, he should be able to take care of all the necessary permissions um, that are required for you to explore performance tuning so um, let let uh, let us run these three commands Okay, the user is already existing, that's why it failed and the first command is failed because we already ran it before granting the permissions. Once you have the permissions, uh, are, um, the first thing what you have to do is you should connect to the database using, uh, uh, using the new user created. In this case, it is p-tuning and password also p-tuning. I just want to name it uh, as a different so that I don't overwrite the existing one. Save it and then connect it. Okay, now you are in the um, database as user P tuning. You can change the user here if you are using SQL developer. To P tuning, otherwise it will try to run as whatever uh, uh, user that is associated with the script so you have to make sure that you change it to appropriate user uh, and it's very important otherwise you will be you will end up running on it uh, as a different user and it can have uh, significant impacts on your database you have to be extremely careful on which schema you are running so now we will start creating the tables and it is relevant to anyone so let's understand our data set our data set which we are trying to use 
uh, for this is uh, deck of cards deck of cards have two attributes uh, it has 52 cards and each card has three attributes one is color red or blue sometimes black um, and then uh, sweet uh, there are four sweets spade uh, diamond etc and then pip one to uh, it's uh, two to ten and then jq k and us so these 13 are the pips so total there are 52 cards so as we have uh, three attributes we have to create the table with uh, three fields so let's go ahead and create the table so it has three fields color sweet and uh, pip and i'm just um, uh, defining uh, as varka to 30 doesn't matter uh, how much size you give um, but i'm giving it as 30 and uh, let us run this create table command so once the table is created i have the data set in a comma separated file the 52 cards and uh, let me show you where it is so this is the location on my pc you have a card called deck of cards cards.txt uh, and also i have deck of cards.csv both are same only thing is the delimiters are different uh, in these two files uh, in csv it is a comma separated file so we will be using this one to import data so first make sure that your data matches the structure you have defined and there are several ways to import this uh, data. You can copy this to the data, uh, database server, uh, means uh, the Linux server or Unix server where the database is running uh, and uh, copy into a uh, location where a Oracle database directory is created and you can create external table on it and you can uh, uh, copy data into another table in database. That is one scenario. Second scenario is you can use SQL loader uh, where you can uh, upload different uh, data uh, data sets with different delimiters it will give a lot of flexibility to ignore errors and all those things but in this case i will be using more straightforward solution i will be using sql developer itself to import the data so to import the data what you have to do is you have to expand the uh, on the left side uh, you have all the connections um, and uh, that are saved and then uh, the, there is a plugin plug icon on top of this database icon if it is there that means there is a and uh, those are actually connected to the database so there are two connections from my pc to uh, two different databases here in this case databases are same but the schemas are different so you can expand the relevant uh, connected database in this case 11gx oracle cloud p tuning which used p tuning to connect uh, um, into this database and you can expand the tables and you can see the table you have created here and then you can right click on this and then you can see the option for importing the data so you click on it and then you have to browse uh, to the location where you have the uh, to the location where the file you want to upload is in this case i want to upload deck of cards.csv click on open and you can see that all the 52 records are showing up here but the first row is considered as header because the header icon is enabled so we have to disable it and to make sure that the first record um, is also considered as record because we don't have header in our data set if you have header in our data set you just have to enable it okay and i don't want to skip any rows so zero preview row limit 100 so if you have more than 100 rows then it will only preview 100 rows here and then delimiter is comma if you want to change it to different uh, delimiter you can do that as well once you chose uh, um, whatever uh, you are, uh, all the features that are required to import the data, you can even change the line terminators here. And also you can actually um, decide on enclosures. In some cases, the strings will be enclosed in a double quote or single quote uh, when you get the data from external sources. In this case, I don't have to worry about it. I can ignore it. Then click on next. 
and it will uh, ask you how you want to import this data whether you want to generate insert script or insert directly into the table or you want to use SQL order utility I will be using simple import method with insert and I don't want uh, uh, create script uh, to SQL worksheet uh, so if you use this it will actually copy the script to SQL worksheet and you can run as a SQL script I don't want to do that I just want to import the data directly and click on next so here it will uh, uh, ask you what all columns you want to choose uh, in this case I want all the three columns which are automatically selected and uh, um, uh, move to this uh, selected columns if you want to um, if you don't want to copy data from certain columns you can uh, select those things and click on this to move it into available columns but I am going to import everything so I'll leave it as is and click on next and here you can actually map the columns to the target table columns in my case column 1 is color column 2 is sweet and column 3 is pip so I'm good with with this so click on next and click on finish and now the data is imported let us validate whether we have data or not and click on this um, green arrow and you can see there are 52 records and also you can actually do select star from deck of cards okay so uh, we have um, uh, created one data set for um, uh, exploring our performance tuning uh, further um, or we can use this data set for other purposes also in um, for, uh, um, if I want to cover some other sort of demonstrations as part of my channel that being said I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please uh, uh, click on the like button if you have any technical question please uh, uh, use the comment section of the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this all time Thank you. Bye.